thank you, our friends, Americans. We really appreciate your help and your uh, uh, always standing in solidarity with the people of Sudan. And today we stand together to free Maryam. Maryam Abraham, this young wife, this young mother, has been sentenced to receive 100 lashes and then be hung by the neck to death. This is an instance where the president can make a real difference. Miriam has been sentenced to death. Why? Because she's a criminal? No, because she's a Christian. And I find it astonishing that our own administration, our own president cannot find his voice to speak up for someone who has been sentenced to die simply because they were ex exercising not an American right, but a fundamental human right to choose their faith. And I tell you, if today President Barack Obama calls on the government of Sudan to free Maryam, they will do so. And let's keep asking him to do that. And so over 40,000 Americans have signed the petition. I encourage you to go to the, web house, uh, the White House website and sign that petition. Uh, we made it easy. You can go to frc.org slash Sudan. It takes you right to the White House website, and you can sign that petition on behalf of Miriam and her two children. If this administration will not speak up, I encourage you to speak up for them and give them a voice and not rest until they are released. We are all human beings. We all have our fundamental rights, and nobody Nobody should take this rights from anybody. No system of government should impose their will on anybody.